You know, are we going to be expecting the same thing come in the second 45? I actually hope not kasi malaki yung uh, expectations ko sa Kaya because uh, they're a team that always trains together regularly versus Dileman which is a very new team composed of new players. Ngayon lang sila naglalaro together, mga three months pa lang yata. And, uh, you know, let's let's see what the guys up there think, shall All we? Alright, uh, let's send it on over now to Mr. Anthony Suntay and Mr. Ryan Phoenix. Well, guys, you know, we, we, we saw a good first 45, but the thing is only one goal. Is this because of the defense of Diliman or the lack of finishing for Kaya? I think they practice Gangnam style too much. <laughs> Maybe. Kaya, they should practice their finishing more, I think. <laughs> yes. Masadong Gangnam style. But I think the, the defense of uh, Diliman really just held on, except for that five, uh, last five minutes, especially that error. Sayang talaga, no? Ang ganda na sana ng defense ng uh, Diliman. Except for that error, which led to the Kaya goal. And right now, before we move into the second half of action, tignan muna natin yung highlights na nangyari sa first 45 para makita po natin kung ano po yung mga pangyayari leading up to this second half, which is going to be beginning in just a bit. Nakita natin Tuason here on the left side trying to create space. This is that shank really more than anything else to use a golf term. Iki-clear na sana yun, hindi niya nagawa. Nakascore tuloy si Romero. You saw the reaction ng players ng Diliman right there after they scored the goal. But first of all, Yannick Tuason with a good cross from the left side should be dealt with here. Ang problema, hindi. And Ronahan Romero being the first one to react to that error. No mistake from the Guam International. Nakita mo yung mga reaction ng players ng uh, Diliman. Really hands in their heads. Sayang. At ngayon na po, mag na po ang ating second half of action. Kaya protecting a 1 to nil advantage. Of course, their fans looking and expecting a whole lot more as far as their offensive output is concerned sa darating na half. Well, we have a very interesting halftime sub magmula sa Kaya. Number 21 here on your screens with the ball. Si Dario Dakic. Coming on for Armand Del Rosario. And now looking at the strategy dito para sa kopunan ng Diliman, do you think they have to be, or they at least they should try to be a little bit more offensive-minded dito sa papasok na half? I think Diliman's mentality coming into the game really is just damage containment. I think from the body language, from, from what I see in the first half, defending very deep, and really not taking that uh, much forays sa goal ng Kaya. Important now for them. Sabi mo nga, well, in, on paper, no one expects us to win. There's a shot, an opportunity. No one expects them to win, but all the more uh, green light for them to try and go for it. Yung nabanggit nga natin kanina na pumasok na nga ito si Dario, Dario Dakic. Dakic. I think Dario Dakic, what he brings to the team is a more attacking intent. Berkey sends that to the middle. At yun ang si Dakic. Immediately in the mix, once again. Hindi bala ng konti yung balasa, ano? Of course, a fresh set of legs. Next to Moy, still there, wearing jersey number 25. Siguro masakit ng katawan itong si number 13 na si uh, Miguel Alberto Gutierrez. Kanina pa sila nagtutanggali. Yung next to Moy. Masaklap pa nito, bola pa ng kaya. Yun. Akala nga niya na mapupunta sa diliman yung bola, pero hindi nga yun na nangyari. It goes to the other side. And still, nasa kaya yung bola. Moy, chips it in front. At diretso yung diretso lang yun dun. Sa goalkeeper once again, si Versales. I don't understand why he's still wasting time. Sa mga Anthony, they're the ones uh, na nagahabol ng na silang dehado actually sa game na to baka hindi niya na-realize na nakascore na yung kupunan ng Kaya right before the half ended 
and they're going to have to really push. Because at this stage, I don't think it really matters. Nice slide that time. It's not going to work. And here comes Versailles quickly out with that ball. That is very easily taken away. Tsugarte looking for space. There's a chance to shoot. And I don't understand why the player of Diliman on that right side field. Nila. Dario Dakic on your screens. Danger here for Sakaya. Napakarami nilang corners in the first half and very very early on another corner for Sakaya FC. The resemblance is, is uncanny. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Ugarte there to send it into that box a little bit too strong. Sent right back to the middle bicycle kick. Not going to work that time for Dakic. Good effort. Kung pumasok yun, would have brought the house down. Pati tayo rito, magkagang ng style pag nakascore siya ng ganong spectacular overhead kick from Dario Dakic but not resulting in a goal. Here's the replay. Medyo mahina lang ng konti. Good technique. No power there. Not troubling Versalis at that time. That is a good intelligent ball. Kung nakuha sana ng Diliman. Good idea. Romero inside there to Berkey and the defender just shielding the ball away from Nate Berkey Nate Berkey of course on fire three goals in uh, two games looking to add to his tally well he's had a few opportunities here today he's got his head on that ball something about cup competition Sam and Anthony Nate Berkey seems to find his groove pagkaganitong mga cup uh, competitions last season si UFL Cup on fire for Kaya nung liga medyo nag taper off ng kaunti baka gusto niya yung mga maiksing tournament ano? ganoon uh, Coach Hanks Michael Weiss might be uh, best served in taking notice yeah that's right kasi malapit na ang Suzuki Cup of course will be shown here on active as well Here they come once again. Good ball down the side, Dunque Romero. Good ball from that right side. Ugarte was trying. Look at that shot there by Moy. Fierce shot from next to Moy. Again, that play started because of Jonah Romero on that right side, unmarked with a good cross. Alamo Diliman really just overrun in midfield. They get one touch, they get two touches. Derecho, at balik ka agad sa kaya ang bola. Kanina, pumapuesto rin si Ugarte for that header. The thing is, Samang Anthony, the scoreline does not reflect the total dominance. Oh yes, I kaya. totally agree. As in total and absolute dominance. Unfortunately, wala pa tayo masyado napakita mga numero. But obviously, nakita mo na nga yung time of possession, shots on goal, corners, and chances definitely. Kahit wala tayong naipakitang stats, I think it's really in favor of Kaya. Coach Kale Alvarez, sinagot ka, sabi mo, half UP siya, half Kaya. Ito, suit niya, Kaya. Nanigurado, syempre. Kada sa araw na to eh, yun ang kanyang trabaho. I don't think he will be very happy with a one-goal lead. And if you want to say, put it strictly, eh, medyo may pagkaswerte pa yung one-goal ng kaya na yon. I totally agree. At the same time, you don't have to look too far. Dahil nakita naman natin yung kanilang unang laban na pinakita natin dito sa active. Lamang nga sila all throughout after scoring the fifth minute. Pero in the 88th minute, nakascore yung kanilang kalaban. Imbis na makakuha sila ng panalo, tabla lang yung nakuha nila sa larong yun. We're talking about the first game in the Group B. 
fixtures laban nila against Green Archers shown last week here on active let's see if they're gonna try to make a run masyado lang malakas yung bola all by his lonesome was Mondeno and Mondeno was way way behind that pass Here's Tuason, fighting for space. That's the kind of clearance na kailangan talaga ng diliman. The kind of clearance na kanina sana ginawa. Well, if they did that, then right now we'd be looking at a nil-nil scoreline. A totally different storyline altogether. And if that happened, yung ginagawa ni Versalis na wasting time, okay lang yun. Pero ngayon, tignan natin, Jorad, Jonah Romero wants more here. Excellent pass. Goal kick for the goalkeeper Toshi Hosoi on your screens, youngster from Japan, new signing from Kaya in the off season. Ano siya eh? He's an emergency right back because of the injury to Eddie Maliari. And to give a shout out to Nomads goalkeeper, let's see Jeff Blake He's watching right now. Next week po maglalaro ang Nomads first game, and uh, Jeff Blake of course recovering from his injury that's a poor pass here's Romero getting possession with a lot of space to work with his pass telegraphed though Kaya may hawak pa rin ang bola now with support a lot of support this time Dakic dun sa gitna on to the other side Nice ball by Ugarte. Shadow lang malakas ng bahagya lang. You can see the training that this team puts into uh, the field. Ganda na pasahan nila, no? Kasama ka nun eh. Pero yun, babalikan na naman natin yung pinanggit mo kanina during the halftime break na talaga yung finishing nila. Doon lang talaga sila talagang nagkukulang if you wanna call it that. Well, it's classic Kaya dating all the way back nung Liga. Again, this is a team that lost the league from an because of an inferior goal difference and nakita natin against Green Archers may just struggling again as well to convert their chances nung kinalaban nila ang Forza over the weekend at Nuvali they were able to win 2-0 and hoping for the same or a better scoreline ngayong araw na ito Moy once again has been a real thorn Para sa kapuna ng Diliman. Bola ng Diliman. Really, umaabot lang sa halfway line. Hindi talaga lumalampas. Number 16 on your screens. Na si S. Mordeno. The Ultra Skaya. Alam mo, that's a, a sight we always see. Pag may game ang Kaya, they're always here. Rain or shine. To support their team. Here's Moy. May hawak na naman ng bola ang now. It sends it to Bolzico. At again, no pressure whatsoever. It's very difficult to leave your line. If you pressure the ball, again, you will leave spaces where Kaya will exploit. And Kaya will exploit. They go to Ugarte on the side. Offside, tawag ng uh, linesman. Woody Ugarte. Being a thorn. Si Ugarte papalitan na. Eric Dagro gonna make his first entry. Well, Woody Antonio Ugarte coming off for Eric the Dagger. Dagro. Talagang pick your poison. Sama nga doon eh. Can you imagine you bring in somebody who's trying to just fit in in Woody Ugarte and you bring in somebody who has been there, done that as far as Kaya is concerned. In Eric Dagro. Grabe. What Eric Dagro brings to your team is speed. There's a chance here. Berkey with a lot of space. Nice hand layoff there. Exacto, exacto. Sana yung pasa niya. Kaso lang ito na naman si Romero looking to get a brace here sa hapong ito, sa gabing ito. Almost telepathic, telepathic understanding from Berkey and 
Jonathan Romero. Good run from uh, Berkey. Bakil. Para kay Romero. Again, wasted chance for Kaya. Oh, an error again. Oh, the defense coming up to the task that time. Si De Luis. At pinwena siyang pupuna ng Diliman dun. If De Luis was not there, that would have been maybe just one and one against the goalkeeper. An error once again. You can see now, Diliman, yung siguro I would uh, like to say that maybe fatigue may come into play. Eves De Luis from Nomads coming to the rescue, taking one for the team. Like to point out, the first time these two teams met, Kaya against Diliman, was actually almost a year to today, October 15, 2011. Napaka memorable ng araw para sa dalawang tao ng Kaya. First of all, kay Nate Berkey, he scored the hat trick. And unfortunately, memorable din kay Ali Bromeo because it is where he was injured. Yung ACL niya was, uh, was torn against this team. Well, yun, ang dami nagtatanong, what is the status now of Ali Bromeo? Of obviously, he's not yet 100%. He's not yet ready to go, kaya hindi pa nga siya ginagamit dito. At hindi rin siya ginagamit ng Ascals. Well, Ali Bermeo, nakausap natin siya. Sabi niya, he'll be ready in the knockout stages of the UFL Cup, which is good news, not only for uh, the Ascals, but also for Gaia. Okay, mga papalitan na para sa koponan ng Diliman. Papasok na. Itong si John Marie Casey Kasem. What a name. Haba rin, no? Si Clarinho ang kanyang papalitan. Let's see if uh, Casey Kasem. Diba? Kala ko nga, yun ba talaga yun, no? Talagang sinadya ba yun? Apparently, shows our age sa mga Anthony. Oh, exactly. Casey Kasem. <laughs> yeah, that, that's right. Yung mga bata, kilala na yung anak niya. Yung nag-VJ. <laughs> diba? <laughs> problema, hindi ko kilala anak niya. Yeah, <laughs> what niya, does that say about me then? <laughs> it says that, you know, we're really into football. <laughs> that is correct. That is correct. <laughs> Ganun lang kasimple yun. Ito na naman ang Kaya. Trying to push forward once again. They want more than a one-goal win here. Shot, masyado na malakas. Medyo na pagka-impatient that time. From Nate Berkey, but maybe worth a try. If you can't hit it from short range, maybe you can hit it from long range. Yung sinasabi nila minsan sa basketball na heat check. Dahil alam mo, talagang napaka-init niya. Sabi mo nga, edi, eh, since mainit ako, malay mo, makakuha ako ng goal dito sa malayong to. Here he goes once again. Great pass! One and one! Dagro, yes, no! Eric Dagro with a glorious chance. Nakita mo ginawa ni Nate Burke here on. A decoy, leaving the pass to Nate to uh, Eric Dagro. Dagro with the speed. Kala mo goal na. Because he was able to do uh, actually side foot, wrong foot, Versalles. And here they come once again. This is not a replay. Kasi coming off the triple, kala mo talagang y yung pa rin yung papakita mo yung nangyari kanina pero hindi na po. Live na po yan. Still the same result. As you can see, Looks like Jordan Romero is going to be coming out now. And AK-47, si Alu Kigbu coming on. Napansin mo lahat ng mga subs ng Kaya is really for their offense. An offensive substitution, like for like. Kaya desperately looking for that insurance goal. Diliman now with possession. Will they try to move forward? Can they move forward, I think, should be the question. And the answer is, unfortunately, at this uh, last play, hindi po na mabante ang bola yet again. Here's Moy, nagahanap na naman ng espasyo. They send it over there to the side of Del Rosario. At ngayon, hindi na kailangan magmadali talaga nitong kupunan ng kaya. Kaso lang, syempre, habol pa rin nila makascore ng mga dalawa, tatlong goal. Kung maari. I'm sure fresh pa sa kanilang utak yung uh, late equalizer ni Tating Pasilan last Tuesday. And after that game, 
Medyo nasa buran lang naman ng, ni Coach Kyle Alvarez ang kanilang mga players. Konti lang, ha? Konti lang. Ulang pa kasi ng... Tama-tama, uh, na ulang pa that day. Talagang sulit. And I go to the side once again. That might earn them a corner. And it does. I want to see a long corner here. In the box. There's Bolzico. Nauna sa bola. There was some contact and it's going to be a goal kick. Remember, top two teams in each group will go on to the knockout stages ng UFL Cup. And this is, uh, this is a match you're seeing. A Group B match composed of Kaya Diliman, Green Archers, Dolphins, and Forza. On paper, looks like uh, Kaya and Green Archers are the favorites. But I will stress, on paper, of course, the criteria there for the being uh, para malaman kung top two teams ka is if you have the most number, uh, two teams with the most number of points. And if it goes down to uh, two teams having the same number of points, ang next na criteria natin is goal difference. Kaya naman, talking to Santi Araneta kanina, that he wants the goals to come in for Kaya. Anton sends it to Bolzico. And against the non-existent pressure dito galing sa Diliman, they can really take their time. It's in the attacking third that Kaya needs to have that cutting edge. Still with possession here. Back to Tuason. Tuason, inisip yung kanilang gagawin. Boy, that one going off the bar. Looked like a cross from here, but straight uh, goal ni Barsales. Sneaky play there that time, Galing Hey! Hey, sir, Offside, yan, claro. Walang kaduda duda. An offside call on this man, Nate Berkey. It's a good time to introduce our fans to, to Diliman. Hindi natin nasabi kanina. Diliman, actually one of the founders of Diliman, has brought into Pachanga. Kaya naman yung uniforme ng Diliman, mukhang uniforme ng Pachanga. If you Tama. notice, I was looking for Freddy Gonzalez wearing the jersey number 9. <laughs> ano balita natin? Hindi natin makakapaglaro si Freddy. We were looking forward to seeing him in the first division. Of course, the majority of the players ng Diliman now wearing the colors of Pachanga. And sabi nga ni Paolo Misa before the game, this actually, this uh, UFL Cup stint ng Diliman is actually a preparation for their Division 2 game, uh, Division 2 season next year. Ito para sa kupuna ng Diliman, papasok na si Alex Faya Camara. At lalabas si De Luis. I think Yves De Luis had a knock while he was trying to save the blushes ng kanyang defender kanina. Again, not a good ball. Kigbo on the wings. He gets it from Dagro. Opportunity for Berkey, not up to the task. Ganda sana ng cross na yun from Alu Kigbo on that right side. At alam mo talaga, sineswerte pa rin ito kupunan ng Diliman. If you remove that error from Diliman, yung uh, error ng defender niya, it is still nil-nil. Yes, definitely. Kaya still struggling to score the goals. 
yung mga sinasabi ng mga critics ng Kaya saying that they are not able to put away teams they should easily beat. And on paper, and especially in the first 68 minutes, it dapat talagang total domination on the field. Unfortunately, not reflected in the scoreline. Well, actually, this is one match na talagang kahit si Saba lang yun natitira mong goalkeeper sa lineup po, wala ka problema. Dahil hindi naman siya nasa challenge. Probably the loneliest man on the field right now is uh, Saba. And just when we said, Saba looking for some action. He just might get it here. Camera. Ganda ng bola. Masyado lang malakas. And Saba easily picks that up. The rare times that Saba is called to action. Hardly breaking a sweat. To see Saba Sadegi. This is definitely one of his easier outings. But importante para sa goalkeeper to keep his concentration. Nice move here by Dagro. But the finishing not enough there for Dakic. Someone who has been on his toes the whole game. From si Kim Versales. Well, the actually, the only time he let down his guard, nung nakita niya, katabi nga niya yung defender niya. That was... Trying to make the quick clearance. Shanked the clearance and it was an easy goal for Romero. An error. Which led to the only goal of the game so far. Of course, Kaya wanting to add more. Diliman hoping to get one back. Even that's got to be a whistle. That's a whistle, even the throw ins. Not working for Diliman. Ayun, elementary, you know? Yun ang tinuturo sa Isa sa mga tinuturo sa'yo pag nag-upisa ka ng football. One interesting bit, bit of trivia. Sabi nga ni Paolo Misa, the first time that the whole team met, na kompleto silang lahat, was their game against Forza. Samantalang kaya... I'm sure they've been practicing regularly. He turned in a shot from Eric Dagro. Abi Manticon in the house. Enjoying the action. Of course, he wants more goals from Kaya. It's a good night for football, Samang Anthony. The weather's clear, the sky is clear. Well, the weather tonight is fantastic. The weather today was horrible. Kanina, napakaagang, napakainit. And then all of a sudden, it rained in the middle part of the day. And then, lumabas na naman yung araw. Chance for Moy. Space. Hinanap si Kigbu. Still alive. Very easy for Kigbu to elude his defender. Off the legs of AK-47, and it's going to be a goal kick. You can really see the gulf in quality from Kaya versus Dileman. Of course, pag uh, malapit lang po kayo sa Rizal Memorial Football Stadium, meron pa tayong isang game mamaya. Dean Archer is going back against Dolphins. Nice move. And a foul is going to be called. That might be our first yellow. I don't the yellow is going to be given on the other side. It's going to be on Mordeno, number 16. Yes, Mordeno. Called for the yellow card. And this is another chance para Sakaya. See if they can capitalize. Del Rosario, always lonesome there to take this one.
And again, napakarami mga red shirts inside that box. Anton, direct kick! At diretso rin, kay Versales. Anton, getting it low. This one goal lead really sets up the stage for another nail biting finish. Well, we got confirmation that's actually the yellow card was on 27, Marvin Barkin. And what was that all about? Hitting the Diliman player on the chest. Got a feeling that in Laruto it's men against boys. But still, it's only 1-0. But well, the boys still, the boys holding out, holding firm. The men unable to break down the boys. And I'm sure the men of Kaya are just itching for another goal. They need to be able to get a 2 to nil advantage para medyo makahinga na sila ng konti. Pero ngayon, pati si Kayla Alvarez, hindi makaupo-upo. That's right, ganyan pa siya natayo dyan. Suporta ng Team Philippines na makikipag-ugnayan sa 2012 Xterra World Championship sa Maui, Hawaii. Vote for the two triathletes you think deserve to go to Maui at may pagkakataon kayong manalo ng 50,000 pesos in cash. Watch the five-part journey on www.youtube.com slash VaselineMenPH High boot from Dakic. Dario Dakic. New signing. It's a foul, I think. Goal kick ang sasabihin ng ating referee. But walang foul ang tatawag. Number 19. It's Alex Faya Camara. Doing the hard work. Doing it all by his lonesome. On your screen is Ali Borromeo. Conferring with Kale Alvarez. Sabi ni Ali, siguro, coach, alam mo, kung nandiyan ako, mapasok na ako eh. Oh, lagay mo akong striker. And he has played striker position before. Offside na, the flag has been up. Doon pa sa Meili Kuran. Nakonwood itong si Ali Borromeo. If anything happens to Saba Sadegi, Ali Borromeo will be the one playing goalkeeper for Kaya. Nakalista ba siya? Not today. <laughs> Hindi nga, tama. But Ali Borromeo actually started out as a goalkeeper before being a striker. Yes, sabi nga niya, you know, he, he found it so boring back there. Sabi niya, walang, halos walang aksyon. So gusto niya sa masaya, sa depensa. Chance may gitna. Not enough. Ito na naman yung depensa. Versalles, hahawakan lang to. He's got to send it out quickly. Yan, just like what he did. And again, still no runs. You get a feeling that will challenge Saba. Pag hawak ng Diliman players and ball sa midfield, they get out muscled very easily. But for all the dominance ng Diliman, I'm sorry, ng Kaya rather, Diliman know that it takes only one chance and one shot, one error from Kaya. At parang yun na nangyari, no? yun ang script na sinundan ng Green Archers noong isang linggo. Yun nga yung nangyari. Bihira yung kanila mga pagkakataon, pero nabigyan sila ng isang pagkakataon, nakascore nga sila, tumablay yung laban. Let's see if uh, Diliman can carve out that chance. That one chance that they need. Because a one nil scoreline, kayang kaya pa talaga makabalik sa laro. Ang Diliman. Just about 12 minutes remaining dito sa ating laro. And the Kaya faithful sitting on pins and needles. Just like what happened last Tuesday. Yet. Sabi na ano to? Deja vu? Yet again. Gonna do this throw in again. 
Nice ball to si may gitna. Pero yun na yun. We have another sub. Yannick Tuazon has been quiet in the second half sa mga Anthony. Ang dami nga niya mga pagkakataon ng ating first 45 minutes pero yun nga medyo natahimik nga siya. I agree with you. That actually, I like that substitution. Maybe you get another player who's a little bit more active already. Baka napagod nga si Tuazon. We didn't see him in action last week. Dagro trying to make his turn. Pali tatawa kay Dagro. Being very aggressive, Eric Dagro. But again, another good run on that right side from Alu Kigbu, evading his defender once again. Laying it off to Eric Dagro. The connection na Alu Kigbu and Eric Dagro. Kaya ng combination na nakita natin last time in the league. And restart their offense once again. Pero huli yung takbo doon ni Dagro. And here's Versalis once again. I think they might be happy with this scoreline. Well, their body actions seem to think, seem to portray that they would be happy to take a 1 0 defeat. But I think deep in their hearts, alam mo, if they can keep it this way until they get a chance to test Saba. However unlikely it seems. And I'd like you to repeat what you just said. However likely it seems. I think talagang yun parang yun magiging storyline dito. Dahil, you know, they've had a few opportunities. But they've not, just not timed their runs properly. At yan na naman. Ito naman ang gagawin ng kaya. Hahawak na naman ang bola. And they're gonna continue to probe. Better clearance. But it's not si Moy sa gitna. At si Dakic. Nakawak nila ng bola si Saba. But those are not the kind of runs you need if you're a Diliman. Ganyang klaseng mga runs sana ginagawa ng Diliman. Runs that will lead to throw-ins and corners. Santi bit apprehensive I think oh sure definitely just like what happened last week Santi of course makes it a point to be here at the games whenever he's in town siyempre sabi niya kailangan talagang pakita ko sa sa team ko na nandito ako para sa kanila very tight angle para kay Dario Dakic could have been better served to uh, pass the ball in the middle And again, trying to look for another opportunity here. Nice run here by AK-47. Luso may kanan. Ito na ba yun? Hindi. Lexton Moy. Trying to stay strong. Oh, that's some, uh, some nonsense. Off-field action. Lexton Moy being a bit frustrated as well. Well, Moy feels, I think he's had a lot of opportunities here today. He just has not been able to cash in on him. Kaso lang, syempre, maganda rin yung kanyang ginawa. Off field, off the ball, altercation after the whistle has been blown. You familiar with the MMA? <laughs> Parang ganun, ano? Take down! It's going to be right at the edge of the box. Foul ay tatawag. As Dagro gets taken down, at you see him just grabbing that ball. On the one, on the one hand, you like uh, Eric Dagro's aggression. On the other hand, you'd have to be exasperated with the... Uh, well, a red card is shown. Diliman. He was on a yellow earlier, is it? Well, kanina nga, na, nabanggit nga natin, it was Marvin Barkin. 
na nakakuha ng yelo, binigyan siya naman siya ng isa pang yelo ngayon, kaya tapos na po ang kanyang araw. Ako, that is not a very intelligent thing to do for Mark Lloyd Barkin. Marvin Barkin, rather. Two yellows equals a red card and a one-game suspension. Chip inside. It's going to go wide. And more importantly, Diliman will be down to 10 men. Ito nangyari. A foul on Barkin. And that was warranted. Kitang kita me. We didn't actually, we missed what happened in the first yellow. Pero yun, nakita mo, that was definitely a late challenge. The ball was just way, way ahead. And he just took Kigbu down. I think that was Eric Dagro. Oh, Dagro, correct. Let's see if uh, Kaya can capitalize with a numerical advantage. Ang ganda ng pihit. Dagro can't get that through. Look at the speed of Eric Dagro. Remember, Eric Dagro, starting 11 player in uh, league campaign ng Kaya now, relegated to the bench because of the fine showing in Nate Berkey. Of course, Eric Dagro, when he comes into the game, he has a point to prove, not only to the fans, but also to Kale Alvarez. Well, he'd like to be able to start. Every player wants to start. Every player wants to play. Mga limang minuto na lang po natitira rito. AK-47 with the long ball. And he just sent it out. And it seems that Diliman is just happy to settle for this score line because hindi sila umaatake. And they're wasting time. Parang ganun na nga eh. May bagong papasok dito para sa kupunan ng Diliman. But more than anything else, there might be an opportunity here for Kaya to score. Let's see, Bersales, the busiest man for Diliman today. Ooh, medyo masakit yun. Boy, that was really not, not planned or it just happened. And that'll knock the wind out of you. Down na nga to 10 men ang Diliman. Well, you can't pick him up. You have to let him stay there first. You know, let him catch his breath. Out number 16, S. Mordeno. So, papalitan na si Mordeno. Henato, papasok. For the last four minutes of this game, plus some at a time maybe about a minute two at the most Let's see if the Liman will they be able to shock the UFL world or will Kaya yet again Hang on for a one nil victory. Sa tingin ko, makakahawak na yung kaya sa larong ito dahil talagang nabanggit mo na nga, may numerical advantage na sila. At the same time, they continue to press forward. There has been no semblance of an attack whatsoever galing dito sa Diliman. Especially in the second half, I, we have hardly seen the ball travel to the other side. And Saba Sadegi, an observer and a spectator today. This man, naman si this man, to contrast his fortunes with uh, Saba, talagang bugbug sarado si Versalles. Ang sarap ng tulog ni Versalles mamaya. Sa pagod. Hindi sa panalo eh, sa pagod. Si Saba rin masarap ang tulog mamaya. Sa tingin ko, lalabas pa si Saba mamaya eh, dahil <laughs> punong-puno pa ng energy yan eh. He might even just ask the, the next two teams, baka kailangan lang na sub na mag-goalkeeper eh, para makapagtrabaho naman siya ng konti. Marunilla is going to come in here para sa kumpunan ng Diliman. In his place, Paolo Misa takes his place on the bench. 
Robert Maronilia. Mga dalawang minuto na lang ang natitira. Maybe a minute of stoppage time. I have liked uh, Coach Kiel Alvarez substitution so far. Alu Kigbo on that right wing to me. He looked very lively in the second half. Eric Dagro as well. Talaga napakalalim ng bench ng Kaya. Any one of these players can actually merit a slot in the starting 11. Let's see if they can try to send this one long. Maybe challenge Saba one final time. But again, Dakic na unan na naman do sa bola on that header. And here comes Kaya once again. Moy. Moy has actually been very quiet here in the second half. He was very active in the first 45 minutes. But you can argue because he did not need to be noisy in the second half. Kasi napakaingin na Dakic yan, katulad nun. Getting another opportunity, of course, going to left and right with Dagro and with Kigbu. Pwede sabi niya next on Moiseo as a defensive midfielder. Magandang bagay kung nahimik ako. Because it means you're not needing my services. Walang ganong atake from the opposing team. And we have hardly mentioned Saba or Nico Bolzico's name in the second half. Well, he was really never challenged also dito sa second half. Itong si Lexton Moy. Diliman actually, you know, funny. But they had more attempts. Or they had more attacks at goal, should I say, in the first 45 minutes of play than they did here. At least, Dun, if I remember right, they had at least one shot. Actually, one attack. More than anything else. So It wasn't even a shot on goal. So it's one more than the second half. Than exactly. Exactly. Tignan natin kung makakakuha sila ng atake rito. Well, two minutes of added time. AK-47, si Alu Kigbo cannot believe the decision ng referee. Binigay ang bola. Neither can Lexton Moy, but nonetheless, bola ng dilima. Tignan natin, this might be, this might equal their opportunity of moving forward. Taken too quickly, I think. But again, walang tao sa suporta. Walang tao sumo suporta, rather. There's Dagro. Waiting for it. Bago pa niya makuha yung bola. Silly foul. Eat up more time. Well, Dagro's timing is run already. This might be the final opportunity para sa Kaya to attack that goal of Diliman. Deliman will try to send in a fresh player here for the final minute of play. Actually, final 30 seconds, if you want to call it that. And his only contribution maybe to defend this free kick. Maybe not even. If I were Deliman, I'd put the bodies forward. Wala pa rin. They still go to the short passes and they lose possession. Just like what we've said all throughout this match. At ngayon, hakawakan lang ata ni AK-47 to. And when I say that, all of a sudden, biglang umatake, making his run. At yan ay yung pito ng ating referee. And what does this win do for Kaya? Well, it puts them with seven points in the group. I think more than anything else, you win ugly, but you get the points. That's what it matters at the end of the day. Dito naman sa kabilang panic, Diliman played defensive practically all throughout the game. They hardly had any attacks. Para naman sa kanila, do you think they can call this a moral victory, so to speak? In a way, pwede. Because they only let uh, Kaya score one goal. Pero, you know, I'd be very disappointed if I were Diliman. There's our full-time score. Kaya winning this one. Laban sa Diliman. 
Jonah Romero with the score in the 42nd minute. And full-time score, Kaya Panalo, 1-0, Laban sa Diliman.